Hello, everyone. Thank you for your comments and questions. So today, our question is about cleanliness, tidiness, order, and spiritual, you know, evolution or awareness. So very often <clears throat> you can't come across people who are um, somewhat ungrounded. So they're interested in spirituality and yet they are sort of ungrounded. Now, if you realize that that what you are expresses or is expressed through your environment and your environment is the extension of you, you start being responsible for that environment because you care, respect, and are responsible of your own self. So you come across spiritual communities and people who live in, in a mess. So they are very interested in spirituality, performing some spiritual actions, reading books, flying around, being on ground, or being in, all in the clouds. And yet they cannot take care of themselves. Their rooms, their houses are full of clutter, mess. They are unneed. They are clumsy. They are anxious. They are restless. They are quick to react, quick to act. They have no deep rootedness in within or into the reality, I don't know, into, into that existence, because many times people understand that spirituality is an escapism out of the reality. And so the mundane plane is not important, but true spirituality is always about balance. And so whatever you have in your everyday life, whatever your um, routines are, actions, they are all a reflection of your spiritual being. A truly evolved spiritual being is but the emanation of purity. This purity cannot result in the external mess, disorder, havoc, chaos, um, recklessness, anxiety, and restlessness. A truly evolved being is wise. A truly evolved being is grounded and rooted in stillness. All their actions come out of stillness, not out of compulsion, trauma irritation, obsession, or addiction. They are the consciousness that drives the body, not the waves of emotions and thoughts that drive the body, because that's what happens when you are the karma. Your body, as the form of karma, is driven by the waves, the, the corrupt, distorted waves of the collective and the individual. And these waves are thoughts and emotions, and the whole being is thoughtless and emotionless in their natural being. It's not that they are incapable of having thoughts or emotions. They can entertain, but by choice, they can employ pure emotions of anger for barrier and dissolution of love for just that love is actually that emanation of stillness, sustenance, cultivation, and attraction as well. Now, when you are emanating that higher frequency of love, you attract positive experiences. So it is very important to understand that spirituality is not escapism. Spirituality is not some tool or way to gain power or control over the reality. When in reality, you are experiencing chaos and some form of, you know, disorder. If you are balanced, it means your order, internally and externally. Order means alignment, alignment with a higher being, which governs the order within creation. And if we cannot live in this alignment, then our spiritual pursuits in life should be questionable. 
because real spirituality results in also order on the mundane level neatness not obsessive cleanliness but neatness tidiness awareness because you realize that the external is the extension of you everything you experience is the extension of you and you treat it as such how do you treat your body? The body is the extension of consciousness. You take care of it, or you're supposed to. You don't leave, leave it dirty, unclean. If it got dirty, you purify it. The same happens with your environment. Your environment is the same extension of your consciousness as your body. It's just slightly further. Your food, your lifestyle, these are all extensions. They're not supposed to be the, uh, you know, pivotal or the focal point of your existence that all you have to do is just obsess about your diet, about your exercise, about your cleanliness, about your spiritual or non-spiritual lifestyles. That's obsession. That's imbalance. But when you have that, when you take care of yourself, you naturally have that type of diet, that type of lifestyle, that type of attitude in life that is considerate because you are, you come from that self-love, from self-care because you understand that everything is your extension and you take care of your body as if it's your child which has to work and serve you for a long time. So you take care of it wisely, you feed it wisely, you put it to sleep in a certain time so it rests. You allow it to be still. You allow it to exercise. But when you are living in a compulsive, traumatic, insane, unhealthy way, you don't understand that you are consciousness living in the body. You are driven by these waves within your being that are that push you into compulsive erratic behavior that don't allow you to perceive your natural being and it's very very important to distinguish these two because without this discernment you are forever tied up to these compulsive obsessive addictive existence and all your actions even if you name them or tag them as spiritual will be still of the same manner and they will lead to disorder within and without they will lead to some sort of misalignment i hope i answered your question thank you very much if you like the content please subscribe and leave your comments thank you